What is Giga Drilling? Giga Drilling is a term that Vivid Visions came up with back in June of 2016. It was for an idea that I presented to him after the Prestige update. Vivid ended up making a forum conversation with me and a few others explaining how we would do this method. He wrote it pretty stupidly, but I'll leave a screenshot here so you guys can read the entire thing if you want to. I'm going to highlight what he said. Pretty much what he said was how he'd have to get a lot of cane and a lot of leather and a lot of wood to make 15 bookcases and do level 30s until we get that specific pickaxe. That was the old way, but now that we have newer methods, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker. But honestly, it was pretty game breaking when we first started doing it because we had so much fun with it and it was really overpowered. I'm going to start off with some of the things you'll need from the shop. There are three different roles to play while giga drilling, one of them being optional. So you have the Giga Driller as well as the Pot Rusher and Fisher. Fisher is the one that's optional so you don't really need them there, but if you have a third person you can obviously have them in there with you. The prices to everything you'll need are going to be on the screen right now. This is starting from having nothing in the shop at all, all the way up to the maximum of what you'll need, or minimum I should say. I do want to go over one thing though, a combination of 3 max toolsmithing between 2-3 to three teammates. This means that you would need to have 3 enhancement book crafts per team to be able to do this minimum. Now that we got professions out of the way, let's get to kits. There are three different kits needed for this method, one being enchanter, second being looter, and third being ecologist. On the right, you will see that I have included all the items needed to craft each specific item for that rush. On the left, I've included all the items that spawn with each specific kit, including the prestige items. I would just like to note that that's the minimum of items needed for those specific crafts. It'd probably be a better idea to get more of it, but I've just posted the minimum. That's all you need for those specific crafts. Now that we covered all that, let's get to spawning in. First thing you want to do is get your fisher to drop the Giga Driller half the stack of logs that he spawns with. You should have 27 logs now. The fisher should then drop half of his logs to the person who's going to be pot rushing. Everybody should then make their stone tools. Once all the stone tools are made, everybody should then start looking for sugarcane because you're going to need a lot of it. To speed things up, you could get either the pot rusher or the fisher to start going down right away to look for diamonds because those could take a while to find. Once all the items have been acquired from the surface, all members of the team should dig down right next to each other. The pot rusher should then make another portal and start looking for rods and nether wart to make their pots. If they do not find another fortress, it's best to just come back with one rod and make one set of three poison pots. Once you found diamonds, get obsidian and start crafting enhancement books. If you made two philosopher pickaxes, combine them together and apply the enhancement book to the diamond pickaxe. If you didn't make any philosopher pickaxes, craft a diamond pickaxe and apply the enhancement book to it. Apply the second enhancement book to another diamond pickaxe and hope for the best. If you get lucky, you'll get the pickaxe that you want and you'll be able to get a drill right away. If you don't, craft one more enhancement book and try again. If you still didn't get the pickaxe and can no longer craft enhancement books, I suggest just joining a new game and trying again. Now that you have the pickaxe, let the Giga Driller start Giga Drilling and looking for diamonds. In the meantime, the fisher should be crafting King's Rod and start fishing for golden nuggets. The pot rusher should also be crafting his items to make pots. If all is done right, you should all have full diamond before deathmatch, as well as a full set of pots. If you're a higher star and you're watching this video, I'm going to include a screenshot of all the items you should take before going down if you'd like to craft these certain pieces of armor. Don't forget to also craft golden apples with the gold received from mining as well as the king's rotter who got nuggets from fishing. That's pretty much the end of this video. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, or at least it's, if this worked for you, hit subscribe. Tell me about it in the comments and uh, I'll try to make more videos like this.